So I'm releasing uh, the basic edition of the CS2 Unreal Engine 5 plugin where you can get uh, the basic information of a current CS2 uh, match that you're observing or just a replay into Unreal Engine. Uh, so you can use it for graphics or XR, AR, whatever in eSports productions. Uh, so this video will show you how to install and how to use the plugin. Uh, so first up, um, I'm gonna make sure that Counter-Strike can actually send the data and it's using the actual game state integration that Valve provides for Counter-Strike 2 and also did for Counter-Strike Global Offensive. So after you've downloaded the plugin, uh, in this case I downloaded the 5.3 version, I'm just gonna extract it. Open folder. double click and we need to make sure that this file is in the correct folder of Counter-Strike 2. So we're going to right click on Counter-Strike 2, manage, browse local files, we're going to game, CSGO, CFG, and we're just going to drag this in there. And that's it, that's everything you need to do for setting it up uh, in CS2, unless your uh, Counter-Strike is running on a different computer in the same network um, then you just open this one and here instead of localhost you put your IP and if you change the port in Unreal Engine where you uh, want to receive the data you will see that in a bit you will also change the port it's very important that CS2 data is at the end uh, because that's how the plugin is written so here I loaded a 5.3 project and let's see if the plugin is activated. Here you can see the plugin is activated. If you don't know how to uh, set a custom plugin in Unreal Engine 5, you just make sure that it's in the plugins folder of the project, um, like any other plugin that you install in Unreal Engine 5. So to start getting data, we're gonna make a blueprint class, an actor, and we're gonna call it CS2 data. You can call this any name you want. Double click. We're going to the event graph. And at the moment this actor will play, we want to start the uh, server. So we're going to search for CS2. We're going to do create CS2 server. Uh, I'm leaving it at the default 3000. We're going to drag out server, promote to variable. And then uh, we're gonna drag this one out. And we're gonna do start CS2 server. Um, and then I'm gonna drag this one out and do bind event to CS2 data received. This will fire an event every time it receives, receives a new payload from Counter-Strike 2. Then we do a custom event and we see, uh, uh, so every time the data is received, this is what uh, it needs to do. And then we're gonna add the node basic information CS2. And we're just gonna drag this in here. And that's the whole setup of the blueprint. So compile, save. And now to show how it works, I made a empty level. I'm just gonna drag my actor in um, uh, and let's uh, print out the clock, print string on the screen so we're gonna print the clock here i made sure counter strike is running with the replay so that we actually can uh, receive some data and now if we hit play you will see uh, the clock on the screen and that works for all the data that's in this actual node and that's it that's how the basic edition of the cs2 unreal engine 5 plugin works